Last week, an application hit the world, showcasing autonomous agents living and chatting in a simulated town setting. This app, based on a paper released earlier this year by Stanford researchers, made the rounds and unfortunately revived every tech enthusiast's theory about the creation of the universe. This fully open source application called AI Town was created to be extendable, available to anyone to play around with, and representative of the endless possibilities that the paper alludes to. The app essentially allows you to create a town that simulates characters with distinct identities, having unique conversations with each other, and developing relationships based on memories they experience. You can spin it up yourself, modify the identities, and watch the NPCs engage in what can only be described as uncomfortably self-aware conversation. What you may not know is that the Convex project helped make this possible, with two of our engineers helping build this application on the Convex platform. Convex has amazing synergy with any application that wants real-time capabilities. Notably, changes in state can be showcased without refreshing the screen right out of the box. This makes it ideal for a game that needs to be reflecting new information constantly. The fundamental components of AI Town are the agents, the engine, the journal-structured event log, and agent memories. Agents either have conversations together or walk around by themselves and reflect. The engine is responsible for waking up agents when they finish a task, and schedules a batch of agents to move around when they need to. We'll be revisiting the run agent batch function later, as that's where all of our conversation logic lives. The journal is an append-only log that notes down every agent's path, the time they start walking, the time they end walking, and the agents they have spoken to recently. When the agent sets off on a new path, they first consult the journal to see if they will collide into any other agents during their walk by inferring a path from the journal. If they have not talked to that agent recently, that will kick off a conversation. In addition to tracking the paths, the journal also keeps track of all conversation messages and positioning of the characters, which is important for recalling chat history and creating memories, our final component. To describe what memories are, we first need to explain the most important part of AI Town, the initialization and orchestration of conversations. Conversations are kicked off every time the engine has grouped two agents together that will run into each other on the map. The handle agent interaction function handles most of this logic with setting up parameters and then entering a conversation loop for the agents to go back and forth sending messages in. Most importantly, we make the agents face each other, create the conversation object with a leader and follower to determine who initiates the talking, and retrieve the existing player relationships to inform the tone of the conversation. Finally, we enter the conversation loop. After some brief setup where the agents recall what they have said to each other last time and agree upon the talking order, they start conversing. If it's the first message, a conversation is started with some introduction-specific prompts in start conversation, then we hand off responsibility to the converse function. The converse function determines what needs to be said beyond the greetings. Both of these functions include all of the calls to OpenAI and feeding in all relevant information to the conversation. We now have the context to talk about agent memories. You'll notice we pass in an object called memory to the conversation functions. Memories are created and stored when agents finish conversations or finish self-reflection, summarizing the interaction. Memory creation, most importantly, involves creating an associated embedding in a vector database that can be recalled later when in a relevant conversation. This memory object we pass in is a reference to whichever vector database you have configured for AI Town. This memory interface was designed specifically to be hot swappable so that anyone could extend AI Town to use their preferred vector storage implementation. Inside the converse function contains the logic that leverages the agent memories. At a high level, we're fetching all memories, filtering them to the ones relevant to the agent, and then further filtering them to only include ones that are relevant to the conversation. Now let's go over construction of the LLM prompt. Every agent is seeded with a default identity, which is hard-coded at world creation in the convex slash init.ts file and passed into this function. We now pass in our filtered memories from before to prime the responses in a way that will elicit a meaningful response. For example, the filtered relevant embeddings that were determined to be similar to the current conversation are inserted in the prompt here. 
After the agents chat with each other for a bit, one of them determines that it's time to walk away. This ends the conversation loop, and the conversation is stored as an embedding in the vector database, immortalizing the memory for use in future conversations. Now let's fully recap by going over what happens when we spin up AI Town. First, the world is initialized along with our agents and their identities. Then the engine wakes up and finds all agents that are available to be scheduled, which is all of them in this case. The agents are scheduled to walk, creating journal entries for their start and end coordinates. Solo players with no predicted collisions are instructed to reflect on their memories and create a new memory based on previous ones. If the engine notices that two agents have a path with a collision, they are grouped together. Information on agent identities and agent memories are prepared before initializing the conversation. The conversation object is then created, and conversations are kicked off with a greeting-specific prompt that is based on how the agents feel about each other. Then, the conversation loop iterates, with each loop iteration checking embeddings in the vector database for relevant information from agent memories. And all of that information is passed into the LLM prompt. After a while, an agent will end the conversation, and both agents will create a memory embedding based on the conversation to inform future conversations. Agents will then mark themselves as available for scheduling, and the engine kicks off again. This repeats over and over, with agent memories evolving over time, and context in the town developing with it. I've included links to the GitHub repo and relevant files in the description, and I wanted to finally give a huge thanks to A16Z for bringing us in on this project. We look forward to seeing everyone's unique take on AI Town, and hope this was a useful first step into the backend code.